Rolling. Yeah, it's Mega Mel here. Still down here in Beulah, Colorado, my buddy Brian's place. And what I'm going to show you today is a little bit of the theory and how to start a hit and miss motor. Most people don't even know what a hit and miss motor is, but this is one. You're looking at it. Got big flywheels. Got a big old piston in there. It's a six horsepower witty. And what the key of a hit and miss is, it hits. And then these flywheels will turn, 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 and when the motor slows down, it hits again, it fires. And here's the theory of operation. Back in here, Tom, bring her on in. That's my buddy Tom filming today. We've got a governor. And as the flywheels turn, this governor will control down in here, this motion down in here is our exhaust valve. That flywheel will control whether or not that exhaust valve works or not. When it's not hitting, the, the exhaust valve stays open and then it just freewheels. And then when the motor slows down, the government will let the exhaust valve close and then it can fire. Here's our muffler right here. Up here is a poppet valve. That's your intake valve. That controls the flow of air in through the mixer, which is here. No carburetor, just a mixer with a little valve or a little turn uh, uh, needle valve. And then down here we've got our gas tank. And look at this. Model T coil. That's what's giving us the fire when our points touch. The Model T coil will send us some spark. So what I'm going to do now is see if we can gas this baby up. Give it a little priming. That's our choke right there. Get ready. Back it off a little bit because we're going to see if we can get this baby to fire up. Whoa! Oh baby! Yeah, we got some action now. Listen to that, baby. Hit. Miss. Hit. Miss. That's all there is to it with a hit and miss motor, baby. That's some trick shit. If I don't mind saying it myself. You like it? Cut. 